and welcome. My name is Ethan Hamlet Stroll, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to integrate your JSON data into your Documents Core Pack templates. I'll be walking you through a sample follow up template and showing you how to integrate the JSON fields into it. Then I'm going to be showing you how to save that template and running it through flows in order to generate a document based on your JSON data. Now, before we get started, one important thing to note is that you'll need to make sure that your Document Core Pack client and server are up to date. Additionally, you'll need to make sure that you have a settings key included into your environment. If you need more information on this, though, please consult the video description down below. Now, with that said, let's get started, shall we? OK, so as you can see here, we've already got a little bit of something started. We've got a little bit of text here in Microsoft Word. This is going to be the text that we're going to be basing our template off of. We have a few X's here, and these X's are going to represent the locations for our JSON fields that we want to include. All of the fields that we're going to be including into this template are going to be JSON fields. But in order to actually include the JSON fields into the template, we need to make sure our schema is also included. But before we get any more further into the JSON side of things, there's two things I want to mention here. First is the type. Whenever you create a template, it's always important to make sure you select the right type for your template. Since this is going to be an account-based template for us, we can already select it and leave it as is for account. This is important because once you actually include a field into the template, you can no longer change the entity. That is locked in, that cannot be changed. So it's always important that the first thing you do right off the bat is to set the type. The other thing we're going to be doing is including a document name, which can be accessed through advanced template settings. Uh, when you open this, it'll already default to having the document name and subject set. And we're just going to give this a simple title. We're going to call it, oops, one second. We're going to call it JSON follow, or how about just JSON template. That should be good. This will ensure that whenever we dynamically generate the document, this will have that name. All right, now with those things out of the way, now we can get to the JSON side of things. So we're going to go over to this template, to, to this tab rather, over here. This is the JSON tab. Now to insert our JSON schema, what we need to do is we need to click on the Add Queries button. When we click on this, we'll see that this window will appear. This is the JSON data source window. And you can include your JSON schema right here. You can include a schema file if you'd like, or you can just copy and paste your schema if you have it on hand. For us, we already have it on hand. I have two notepad files that we're going to be using for this video. And we're going to be opening up this one first. Now, this is our little example JSON schema. We're just going to copy all of that, minimize that, minimize that, and then paste it in here. You'll see that we have four fields here. We have a first name and last name field. Both those are strings. We have a weeks until next contact field. That is an integer. And we have a signature field. This is also a string, but important to note, as this will come up later, this is supposed to be a base64 string, as we want this to be an image in the final document. With that said, we can include this as is, but in another, another important thing to note for our template is that we want to make sure that this single row query checkbox is checked off. And the reason for that is that if that is not checked off, then whenever we try to include these fields into the template, it'll prompt us to include it as a table. That might be good in some circumstances, but in this specific circumstance, we just want to include these fields as is. So this is just a single row query. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay here. And I'll move myself over to the side here. And you'll see that now we have the first name, last name, weeks until next contact and signature fields here off in our fields list. 
Once those are inserted, we can just go ahead and start inserting them into our template. So, dear first name, and give it a space, last name, and for x weeks, we'll replace that with weeks into next contact. And now, we want to include our signature field. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a string, but a base64 string, meaning that in our final document, we want to make sure that this is an image. So that means what we want to do is we actually want to insert this field as a picture field. And to do that, we can just click on the image, go to insert field, and go to insert signature as picture field. Once we have that inserted, you'll see that it will insert a placeholder for our picture field here, just like that. And I believe actually that's it for our template, rather simple and straightforward. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure we save our templates to our environment. So we're going to give this also a suitable name. We're going to call this uh, Jason follow up template. Give that a save. Give it just a moment. <laughs> And once it is done saving, that means it is saved into our environment. So the next thing that we got to do now is we got to generate this document. So let's hop over to our environment. And that's in the process. Put me back over here. <laughs> All right. So here we are in Power Automate. We're here because we want to include our JSON data into our template. So to begin, what we want to do is we want to go to our, my, our flows. You already, I've already got that set to my flows. We want to create a new flow. We'll go to Instant Cloud Flow. And our trigger, we're going to set that to, let's say, when a row is selected. And then hit Create. This will get things started for our flow. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to give this a suitable name. We're going to say generate follow up JSON template. All right, so we have a name. Now we need to make sure our environment is set. So we're going to set that to default as that is our environment already set up here. And table name. Now we're going to set this to accounts as we had already set this template to be an account template. Now we're going to add a new step. The step we need to add here involves our documents core pack connector. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we select the right connector here, and we want to make sure that we can generate the document based on our JSON schema slash JSON data. To do that, we need to make sure that we go to the create document sync v3 action. So we've already got our template saved. So what we want to do is we want to select the right template. So we go down through the list here, and we see we have our JSON follow-up template. We're going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to select our row ID. In this case, we want it to be just account. And for the file type, we want it to be PDF. Now, if we were to just leave it as is, this will generate the document. But what we want to do is we want to attach this document as a note to our entity. So we're going to add one more step in here. We're going to add one more document, this core pack action. And now we're going to attach document job as note. So this, this step will actually ask for the document job ID which we can just pass in our document job ID. As every create document will have the document job ID as a returned value. The table name can be just account again, and the row ID can also be account. Oops, in this case, yes, account. Okay, that's actually it that all we need to do. Oh, but wait, there's one last thing that we need to include, and that is very important. 
We're going to go back up to the create document sync step here. And what we need to do here is we need to go to show advanced options. In this step, you will see that we have the JSON data source field. This is where we're going to put our actual JSON data source into our flow. We already have a flow set, or we already have our data source. Once again, we're going to consult our notepad file here. And now you're going to see that this looks like a rather big file, and that is because of the base64 string. This is very, very large, but you can just ignore that right now. You'll see that we have our field set here, or the data for our fields. For our first name, we should expect John, last name, Doe, weeks three, and then our base64 string. These will all appear in the result document once we're done. So we're going to copy all of that, minimize that, and then go back to our JSON data source and paste that in there. Again, rather long, but needed. Now, we're really done with our flow. We're just going to be saving it right now. All right, good. It says our flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. So, with it saved, we are now going to go to a record. We're going to give this a refresh. Now, in this particular case, since the only fields that we've actually included into our template are JSON fields, it doesn't necessarily matter which record we need to go to. But if you did include other account fields in there, maybe you might want to make sure you select the right record that you want to test or generate your document based on. In our case, it doesn't quite matter. So now we're going to go over to the ellipses button here. And we're going to go down to our flows. That's going to load up our list. And we're going to select the right flow. Let's see, is that the right one? Generate follow JSON template. Let's see. Generate follow JSON template. All right. That is the right flow. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to wait for this to load up a moment. Right. Just give it a little bit longer. Okay. So it'll use the following apps. You can just go ahead and hit continue and then run flow. It might take a moment to run the flow as well, but that'll be running in the background. And once it has successfully started, we're going to hit done. Now, depending on your flow, it might take a little bit for it to generate. But for us, since it's a rather simple flow, we can just go ahead and refresh our page here. It should show up in the timeline. Ah, yep, there it is. JSON template.pdf. We're gonna go ahead and click that. Open it up. And there we have it. Let's take a little bit of a better look at that. Download that. All right, and you can see here, dear John Doe, we will contact you in the next. 30 weeks, sincerely, our signature. By the looks of it, it looks like everything worked. Everything checks out. We've got all of our JSON fields in there, and they are all producing the right data. Okay. Then it looks like we've all finished up here. That does it for our coverage on our JSON feature. Thank you all very much for watching this video. We hope you found this video to be very helpful. Thank you very much again for watching. See you again in another video. Bye-bye.